All right, so I can finally start talking about, or I finally want to start talking about all the things that have been going on uh, in my life. So I'm sure some people are probably wondering like, where have I been? Why have I not been creating content? What's been going on? So that too. So let me go ahead and address that right now. But basically the big elephant in the room is that I no longer have a full-time job. And I guess I technically just lost my job at Best Buy, which I've been at for about 13 years now. Things are crazy. <laughs> this entire year, I've basically been saying that it's gonna be my year and I've been trying to like put myself in a position to really win and make a huge difference with content creation. What I did was first number one is I basically by chance, I got reached out to by someone from Elgato and they said they wanted to work with me with making YouTube videos. So that was a huge thing that's happened and I was really excited about it. So that was actually something that I was in the works that was actually be able to help me go more like more towards full time content creation, but not completely full time content creation. So that definitely helps. And then the other thing is that I actually ended up getting a roommate. So with those two things combined, I basically made the decision that I can drop down to a part-time job and just work part-time and not have to worry about, you know, having a full-time job. So although I'm still working a job and it's not quite the full-time content creator I want to be, it's still a step in the right direction of what I want to be with content creation, but we'll, we'll get there someday. This is still a really amazing step. And then the next thing that happened was I was actually approached by a company called Pipeline that I've been working with and also via contract and also affiliated and they approached me saying they wanted me for a certain position that they had. And I told them I can only do it if it's part time because like this is what I've been building, right? Like this dream. So and they said that works. We could totally do this position part time and that work for us. So <laughs> I'm now accepting a job and I'm going to be working for them on Monday. You'll see this Sunday. This is Saturday that I'm recording this, but you'll see this Sunday. But I'm now going to be working for them part time, managing their podcast content and some other aspects of the like content that they put out. So I'll be doing that starting on Monday which this is the first time I've had a job that is work from home and also not retail. So this is crazy to me because I've worked retail my entire life pretty much at this point. For 14 years or more, I've been working retail, which means I've not had weekends off. I've not had a consistent schedule. I've always had to work holidays. I've sacrificed a lot working retail, well, between working retail and also doing content creation. So yeah, all that had just happened in the span of a, basically a couple months. Like this has been in the works basically, like I've been in the talks with Elgato for a bit and then it all kind of came to fruition around like March. My roommate moved in in March. I This job offer that I got basically came at the end of March. And it's just all happening so fast that I just like was trying to keep up, not including the fact that I actually did a video for Pipeline as well via contract. So it's like I had PAX East that came up. I had contract work I had to do for Elgato. I had contract work I had to do for Pipeline. I also had contract work I had to do for Asus. I had no time to make my own content. And that's why I kind of was like in my head, I'm like, you know what? I'm making a lot of changes. Things are happening so fast. I need to just make sure that I'm kind of tackling these appropriately. and. That's why you haven't really seen much content from me. Um, but also too, that is why I'm just super excited to let you guys know that as of Monday, I'll be working 25 hours a week for a job. And then everything else is either like contract, which is, you know, whenever they need me and then my own content. So this is like the closest I've ever gotten to being a full-time content creator, period. In the last five years I've been doing this, like this is the finally, the time that I get to actually jump in and dive in head first and really focus on myself first and my brand first, and then everything else can come afterwards and I can pay attention to that. So I'm just super excited for it. And it's been a really hard road because going through it, there's a lot of emotions, right? There's like a lot of ups and a lot of downs. There was a lot of like, do I even deserve all these good opportunities for this and stuff like that? Like, am I even worthy of it? And then there was, you know, like, you know, am I able to step up to the challenge? Like, am I able to actually do this and do this well? Like, or am I going to fail and then have to go get another job? But at the end of the day, I was just thinking like, you know what, man, like this is the safest bet I have to jump into the closest thing I have to being a full-time content creator where I can still pay my bills and still have enough money to not have to stress about, you know, living or how my next paycheck is going to come. Like I have things set up right now that I can live and manage with and I can continue to build on that. And the more that I get to invest in myself and my time and my brand, I'm sure more opportunities to make money will come down the road. But this was never about money. Like doing this is never about money for me. Like this is not about making the biggest paycheck I can because if I wanted to make the biggest paycheck, I would not do content creation because I've probably been earning less than minimum wage for the last five years from all my brand stuff, from all, like my, my personal brand stuff I've been doing. So. This is why you've seen all the tweets of like, my life is like a movie, I can't believe it and stuff like that. Cause I just literally, I'm in disbelief of how well my life is going and how hard I worked to get here. 
how excited I am that like everything is really starting to fall into place. Like I, I knew it would at some point, right? I just, I didn't know when it would happen, but I knew it would happen. I knew that this day would come where I could really start leaning into my content and that I would start to be able to reap the benefits of the content I've created, the connections I've created, um, you know, continuously focusing on this, sacrificing, going out having fun with friends or going out on the weekends or, you know, spending money on, you know, vacations or like luxury things instead of and reinvesting in the technology, the streaming, the content, like I've been investing in traveling for conventions so I can meet new people and just enjoy myself and do contract work now. So it's just, it's a lot and it's crazy. And it was happening at a like crazy pace. It was just so quick. Everything just happened one after another, after another, after another. And all the emotions that came with it, like getting a roommate, what would that be like? What was this dynamic going to be like? I'm now giving up part of my home and part of my own peace to have a roommate so I can save some money so I can then become a full-time content creator or be closer to that. Um, and just thinking like, do I really deserve these opportunities, right? Am I really good enough for this? Like, am I a good enough person for these opportunities? And so, yeah, so it was just, it's a lot, but it, I don't think it still hit me yet that literally on Monday, I'm just gonna walk from my off or from my bedroom to my office and I'm gonna start working. And then by one o'clock or so I'll be done. And then I get to make content. I get to make content. I get to plan my weekends and now start doing things around my house, like fixing it up and cleaning things around my house I want to do and really like decorating it and actually making it my own. Like I now have time where I can not worry about going and hiking or going out for a day to go hang out with people and be like, oh, well, I won't have that video done because I'm doing this. And like, it's just, I'm don't, don't go wrong. I'm still like pedal to the metal, like gas. Like this is not like the time to let up, but it's just nice knowing that I can strategically make decisions to give up time from content creation and put it into doing other stuff because now I have more time I can allot to content creation. I have a set schedule that I can now work around and I can build a rhythm around whether it's batch creating or whatever it may be. I can now make plans on the weekends or at nights to do stuff with people because I'm not worried about getting out late from work because I got stuck with a customer for so long or I was dealing with an issue, which happens a lot. Like if you work retail, like if you work retail, you know, if you know, you know, like, yeah, sorry. I know this just seems like one big long rant but I just wanted to fill everyone in on why I wasn't really creating a lot of content and I was still trying to keep up with my streams and I was barely even doing that. I don't know what to say. It just literally, life just feels like a movie. It just feels fake to me right now because of how well everything is going and I'm just trying to savor the moment and I'm just trying to continue the good things rolling. You'll have more fancy videos for me to come. I just want to get this down and dirty vlog just very quick and to the point to explain myself and what was going on and explain the emotions and hopefully inspire someone that might be going through this themselves and might be working towards this goal themselves, but just create a plan, see a vision and to understand where you can really shine in this industry or with these, you know, skill sets and stuff like that too. Cause like, if you think about it, like I'm not really monetizing my brand per se, but I'm monetizing the skills I've learned from trying to build my own brand and things of that nature. So I don't know, I'm, I'm rambling at this point, but I mean, future vlogs, I'll be more in depth with these things and have better B-roll and stuff like that too, and more day in the lives. But I just wanted to give this to you guys as fast as I could. So this will come out Sunday just because unfortunately, even though this is a positive for me that I lost my job at Best Buy, that there were a lot of people and a lot of my friends that lost their job that no longer have a position. So it's obviously very hard for them and my heart goes out to them. And I really hope that they find something that is able to give them better opportunities or to really fulfill them. So, cause I know it's really hard for a lot of people. And this is, yeah, this is big. This is like, I've been with the company for again, 13 years. And this is probably one of the heaviest cuts the company's had to make in 13 years. There's one other time that was like maybe seven years ago or eight years ago before we switched from Brian Dunn as a CEO to Uber Jolie that we made a huge cut like this. And that was the last time we made massive cuts. To anyone in my Best Buy family, I love you guys. I'm so sorry if you guys are going through this or you've been impacted by this. And I hope you guys find really what makes you happy and something that can help kind of financially, you know, sustain the lifestyle you want, but as well as make you happy and fulfilled. All right, that's it. I'm done rambling. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy the video and make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. It's so you guys can see more content from me. I'm gonna have more tech videos coming out, more unboxings, more reviews, more how-to videos, more vlogs. There's just gonna be more content. I'm gonna try my absolute best now, now with the time that I have, to do daily short form content, to do weekly YouTube videos for you guys and keep up with three streams. I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday for now, and then we'll kind of adjust as need be, but that's what I'm thinking for now. And it's just so exciting that I have the opportunity to be able to do that and say that. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support that have, the people that have helped put me in this position, not just 
that have like supported me financially, but that have been my friends behind the scenes and helped me out with this stuff. And the community has been supporting me the entire time and everyone in my discord and all y'all, all y'all. I love all y'all. All right. I love everybody. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> one step closer to being a full-time content creator.